it's tragic. It's sad because, you know, I remember the happy times they had too. Talk to any of the children. I we know. are hearing from friends of the woman killed by her husband, a sheriff sergeant with Clackamas County. These friends tell us they tried to warn Charlotte Gron. She's seen here on the right that something bad was going to happen. Katie's Megan Coxstein filed this report earlier after speaking with one of Charlotte's friends who says deeper problems arose just as Charlotte started moving on with her life. To the very end, she loved him. He loved her. But behind the love, longtime friend of both Jeff and Charlotte Gron, Sheila right. Meyer, a describes a troubling with, marriage. I, like, I just knew that something was going to happen. Um, Jeff, who was a sergeant with the Clackamas County high, Sheriff's Office, fast, filed for divorce uh, last August with... to start her new life. We got to know a new Charlotte this last year. Charlotte would often go out with girlfriends. She told me, she said, I'm not used to this. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying being with my friends. And I said, good for you. And I know Jeff didn't like that. Meyer says since Charlotte was moving on, yeah. Jeff suddenly changed his mind about the divorce and wanted to call off the split. And she says that is when the warning signs started. And he sent me an email telling me that um, he'd appreciate it if I stopped inviting her places unless I included him because they had made a pact when they first got married that they don't go out and do things separate. They do things as a couple. Then three months ago, her best friend revealed even more. She became a little bit more possessive, wanted to know where she was at, where she was going. She had even had, had admitted to me that she, he did not know she was out with me that night, and she was afraid that he would find out. Meyer says she tried desperately to warn her. I said, he seems like one of those men who if he can't have you, nobody else is going to have you either. And that really scares me. And she looked at me and she said, I'm, I'm afraid too, but I really don't think he'd ever hurt me or my children. He'd hurt himself first. And then Friday night, Gresham police say Sergeant Jeff Gron killed himself, but not before he shot Charlotte and two of her friends at the M&M restaurant and lounge. Charlotte and Kathleen Hoffmeister died. Meyer says it could have easily easily been her that night trying to help her best friend start life in a new direction. I saw something wasn't right. That's what's hard. Megan Cockstein, K2 News. And we've left multiple messages with members of Jeff Gron's family, but have not heard back. We can tell you the sole survivor of that shooting, Victoria Schulmerich, is recovering at OHSU. Her family tells us her situation is touch and go, and she remains in critical condition.